it was only a matter of time before I got to this bad boy. Now with the correct engine sound for a G-Body Regal GNX. Triple V6. Now, truth be told, I do miss that kind of somewhat low revving V8 sound from before, but I understand why it has to be this way, and it doesn't sound like a bad V6 either. It sounds like a real GNX. Now, the curious part about all this is some of these values are not a one-to-one. -one. The biggest thing I found is that brake force and then suspension, or not suspension, the center of mass Z, basically the third value, that, those two are not one to one. Everything else I, I've noted earlier, the traction curve, delta, I believe, or whatever, basically the, the, the slope or sharpness of the traction curve, that's a one to one. And then minimum grip is almost a one to one. That's, there's a negative 0.04 difference from four to five. And then traction curve, or peak grip is negative 0.11 from four to five. So, I mean, I, I just kind of spitting out numbers as I'm remembering it, but mass is a one-to-one, -one, but the downforce thing is is tricky, and, and that actually kind of makes sense, because they very well could have changed how the game, rent, not renders, but basically what a value of, say, 0.16 positive for center gravity Z is GTA 4 versus GTA 5. I, mean, I know for a fact that when I set this to basically what I thought would be the conversion scale, this thing wouldn't handle very well, and it would fly off of bumps. Not good. But as you can see, this this feels a lot... Not the car! This, frankly, you said it, man. Not the car! This thing's actually very close to being done. I do want to get rid... I want to give it a little bit less of the rake. It's it's a slight rake, but I don't like it. It's easy enough to change. I just play with suspension bias. You can, see, you can really see it here. Yeah, I don't think it had that much in four. One thing I might have trouble with is getting this thing's propensity to both vacillate or the vessel between understeer and oversteer in the dirt. I'm not sure if I can get that. Ah, uh, you know what? A little bit of understeer there, but that was great. I was going uphill, so the car was already kind of just wanting to lose speed. I think I think this in silver would look very nice. I mean, it is a faction. You know. It's a good car. The thing is, too. I mean, the thing I want to remember in four, it wouldn't have the most. I, I wouldn't say it depends on the conditions, but certainly on dry tarmac, the car. It, it would have a little bit of looseness to it, but by and large, it was just really nimble and cooperative. Now, I, I might change the hell of the fucking traction bias a little bit. I might give it a touch more oversteer, whether it be by power or other things. It might even it might just be power. Because, I mean, she puts it down. Because I'm just remembering, I know especially at low speeds, I, I, I can get it to kind of whip its tail around and see, like, almost oh, right over here. Well, um, um, unless I'm blocked by V8 Vantage. Expect nothing less, man. It's trying to assert its dominance over the, the, the OG high-speed personal luxury coupe. Fusing, basically, muscle, I would say muscle car and luxury car, but... It kind of did, though. These could have nice interiors and digital dashes and shit. Of course, it could be column shift. That's a major demerit, as far as I'm concerned. See, like, there, it felt like the faction in 4, but it's just... I... I I'm not looking for 100%. I'm looking for 95%. And I, I can't help but think... Not even point one more torque. I might not even need that much more, because it, it... It feels very fluid. Granted, assuming you know how to break a corner. Very similar to the GTA 4 version. Piece of cake. Easy. A couple more cars done here. This is uh, based off the GTA 4 Sultan, except it's rear-wheel drive. Really like this S4. More like an RS4, actually, but... Really, 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 really fun to drive. Light. Decent handling. Brakes are actually harder than you might expect. Great speed driving song here. Let's see what she do. 
Oh, yeah. Some of these values you can copy Posture from before. Like, the break force is almost identical. I had to add a smidgen of down force just so it wouldn't go flying off of certain objects and clutter I hit. I think it's easier to do that than edit the map, so... Enjoy the slightly better handling that it would normally have. It definitely feels sharp. It's taut. Pretty light for it. Leave out of body, too. Mass is, like, unreasonably low, I would argue, but... Similar dimensions to the Impreza. Pretty nice, neutral handling power for the most part. I mean, you get some power oversteer, but... Oh! Okay. I'm leaving this up in the top corner. I know it's distracting, but... I have to turn off the script hook. Dot net thing overlay that... is sharing the same button with Native Trainer. I'm not an advanced user, I'm an advanced handling editor. Whoa! I mean, we're both doing the same thing, we're just doing things with lines of code, but that's a hell of a lot more advanced than what I'm doing, I can tell you that for a fact. So that meant to listen to that motor! You're good. There we go. it though oh my god even with, yeah even with traffic I could still handle it see if that declassy tornado was in there it had a heck of a nice average speed through there wow that, no th this car is good I mean I'm always gonna love my land yachts but I might have to give this thing a proper proper spot in the sports sedan Camparo that will happen for this game it'll be across multiple tracks <laughs> Break a little early there. Break really early there. I'm used to driving bigger, heavier cars. You're good. Yes! There we go! You, you gotta work to go fast now in this game, but... I will always, 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 always take the hard way if it feels better. Case in point. Should've seen. This car does have decent top speed, although it's not amazing. It's, I increased a little bit over stock, so... What up, Stanier? You're next! Nice looking car, 92 Crown Vic. In the front of a 90 Toe, too. I love how you get your suspension. You see the suspension working now. That's so cool. Little little tidbits that add to your version. I really like this car, though. It, it feels very sports sedan. And power. 
There we go. No drama there at all. Turn in right here. Straight in the line. Good aim for the tail. This game gets you good at being paranoid and anticipating movements. Because sometimes traffic doesn't always react in the way you want it to. I just started free driving in here. Open the taps a little bit. Hey, you got all luck, y'all. Yeah, baby! It's good shit right here. Yeah, this is this is how five should have all should always have been, man. I will hear no arguments on this. Very analogous to Saints Row 3. I'll shut up and just let the car and the music immerse ya. Feels like Driver San Francisco, actually. Especially with how little hand movements there on the steering wheel. Oh, oh yeah! Well, congratulations, I made Driver San Francisco out of GTA 5. Oh my god, we're gonna fly through here. It's yellow, I'm allowed to run it. Oh my god. Oh my god, we were going way too fast. I, I do have a lot of confidence in this car, though. I was fucking good. Uh huh. This is how you That's make fun. Cool. Okay, there we go. Race Kronbeck. Oh, never mind. I won. I just oh. This is how no, this is how this game should be. I don't know why they shipped it in such a backwards, asinine, unplayable state. But I'm real glad that we're where we are now, man. Oh my god, it's a song from earlier! I don't quite have the ground clearance, but I'm really fast. Or rather, I can maintain speed. And cut. I don't dare cut back again. God, that was really close. <laughs> the water gets deep out here. I'm just so happy doing this, man. <laughs> Woohoo! Taking advantage of all that new suspension travel. Although starting on a hill like this is rather tricky. 